this is a compost tea video for Ilda. Um, so basically you take a loose uh, fabric like this and some finished compost and make a little ball out of it basically. string and tie it shut and leave enough so that you leave enough so that you can tie it to the bucket because you don't want this compost sitting on the bottom of the bucket because the air has to pass through it. You twist it like that and tie it tie it shut so this stuff doesn't get out and go all over the place. Sort of like a tea bag. Compost tea, right? Now we have to get some water. And usually I use uh, rainwater that I catch. Well, we don't but, have it. <laughs> but regular tea tap water. Cold water. It's cold, yeah, cold. cold well, in the middle, actually. Uh, super cold is. It's gonna have to warm up before the bacteria start mm, yeah. waking up. So you, like air temperature is pretty good. But this, I guess, will be about probably about 12 liters, mm. and we get a lot of compost to aerate. So it's gonna be about twice as strong as what I usually make. But, but that's just higher concentration, so you just mm. dilute it by a power of two from what you normally do. Usually I do like four to one, so when we use this tomorrow on your potatoes, we'll do eight to one. All right, so I'll put it over here so that it's mm -hmm. near the outlet because mm -hmm. we're going to need electricity. So I just sit this so that the compost is just a little bit below the water level. Put one more knot in that mm -hmm. just in case. Sort of like that. And then I usually just tie it off. With a slip knot. Like the band. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> exactly like the band. <laughs> to the edge like that. And then I'm gonna run and get my magic secret weapon. I'll be right back. What are you laughing about? I'm still filming. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, good. I'm glad I was quick. So this is basically, this is just an aerator for an aquarium that you buy at a pet store, the <laughs> zoo by calls, yeah? Mm-hmm. And that's an air stone. So that just, instead of making big bubbles, it makes lots of small bubbles. And you kind of want to get that sort of up underneath the compost in there so that it's passing all that ox, good oxygen right through the, the compost ball. And that's gonna super oxygenate the environment that those good aer aerobic bacteria like. <gasps> make us a whole bunch of healthy babies. So it'd be oh, seven or eight billion uh, healthy, good soil bacteria per 15 grams. So I guess you can work grams to milliliters. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's kind of like wine, so you want to let it sit for a minute. The longer it cooks, the better it gets up until three days. Past oh. three days, you're really not, you're just wasting energy because you're not, it's sort of at capacity. You're not gonna make any more bacteria in that, in that environment. But you see what color that water is now? When this really gets active, it'll make it like tea colored. It'll be like a really almost coffee colored tomorrow when we come back and look at it. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of that's kind of it for now. We'll uh, we'll look at it again tomorrow night when it's uh, ready.